Good morning, it's May 26th up at uh, the George Aiken Wilderness in the Green Mountain National Forest. Camping off of uh, George Aiken Wilderness Road 58. Couldn't get a campsite so I ended up uh, hauling my gear back about um, oh, about 100 feet, 150 feet from the road and was uh, uh, hammock camping, although last night I ended up actually bailing out and sleeping on the in the truck along the road just because of uh, it started to rain. It's going to rain tonight too, so I'm taking camp down a day early. But uh, yeah, it's May. It's Memorial Day weekend. Black flies are out. I wanted to camp off of uh, uh, Somerset Airfield Road, um, but the road was still closed. There was still a, spot, or a couple spots left in the campground, but I didn't really want to camp in a campground. So I said, well, I'll check out the Wilderness Road, and hopefully maybe there'll be some of those campsites open, but there weren't. So I ended up saying, well, I'll just wilderness camp. I'll find a clearing off the road a ways, haul my gear back, and, you know, camp in the woods. And that's what I'm doing. Um, you know, if it wasn't going to rain tonight, I probably would stay another night. But then I also, when I discovered yesterday, I didn't pack any socks from all the chaos of packing and unpacking last week. That's uh, so I missed the socks when I repacked for this trip. But, uh, yeah, it's been fun. It's been good to get away. Wasn't the trip I was planning. I really wanted to camp off that Somerset Airfield Road, ride that road on my mountain bike all day, maybe go for a swim in the Deerfield River, and then just have the convenience of being right with the truck, you know, camping out the back of that where I had all my gear and not have to haul it back. But uh, this was fine. It was good. Black flight's been terrible. I mean, the thing about it is actually is that the roads are great. They're nice and, uh, you know, they're soft, but not so soft, but they're not really washed bucketed uh, or washboarded like they often get. I mean Somerset Road often is terrible for the washboards when it's been dry out but it was not bad at all but unfortunately it was closed north of the campground which I was really disappointed. I, w I wish I had gone up to Branch Pond Road although most of the campsites are off of Somerset Airfield Road there and uh, you know if you uh, well those campsites closed and I think also uh, um, was it uh, Oh, the name of that little pond there, they have the Grout Pond with the, um, with the campground closed. Or that campground is actually going to be closed or partially closed because they're, they're redoing the pond. They're, they have heavy equipment there. So, well, yeah, I, so I ended up wilderness camping this weekend in the hammock. And it was fine. I, it's been buggy as heck and the weather's been... Weather yesterday was pretty nice, just the black flies were terrible once the sun came out, and I'm sure they're going to be out again today. But under the screen tent, it was nice in the hammock, but uh, yeah, it's a nice fire, it's both nice. Just made a quick little fire pit here, I'm going to make sure it gets everything good and wet, and then um, I will cover it up with leaves and stuff, and uh, make sure everything is restored as close back to natural as possible. I mean, some branches got broke when I set up camp, but... Uh, this campsite is hidden enough from the road that I have a feeling that it'll just be abandoned and it being May, there's still plenty of growing season left. And I mean, any, any damage to the, the trees, the branches will be pretty much gone by, uh, by, uh, by the end of the summer. But yeah, um, we just could have been a better trip had things gone smoother, but uh, you know, sometimes it happens. I mean, it would have been great if that road hadn't been closed, but at least I didn't have to go home. I got two nights camping out. And I mean, even if I was camping, to, I mean, tonight it probably was going to rain all night. I was just hiding out in the truck in the rain, and then tomorrow's going to be a really wet day. So I'd be driving home in the rain probably fairly early and dealing with wet gear versus this time um, everything is dry. And we had a shower last night, which made me be out for the truck along the road, which was a little weird camping sleeping in the truck right on the side of uh, the gravel road, even though there was no traffic on this dead-end road. But yeah, so um, I'm going to sit back and read, maybe work on a blog post, and then I'll probably head down to Bennington. Um, might hike Harmon Hill this morning, I haven't decided, or I might ride my bike around Bennington, or maybe I'll do both. I don't have to get home anytime soon, I just want to be home before it's really raining and dark out. But yeah, it was okay trip, not not the trip I'd wanted, but uh, you know, not everything always goes perfect. I mean, the previous weekend out in Schoharie was wonderful, although it was also be out of the black flies. That's the one thing about this time of year. But the next few weeks, I'm not gonna be able to get out of town. I don't think. I mean, 
maybe I'll do an overnight somewhere out in Schoharie, uh, northern Schoharie, like Dutchess, um, uh, like Dutch House or whatever, this Cotton Hill, then do an overnight after going to see the gas up or something, and then one weekend see the gas up with my dad, but we'll see. Um, I also have work stuff going on, it's very busy at work, so... Until primary day is done on June 23rd, I don't want to get too far off the grid. And then after that, the black fly should be done. Maybe I will do a trip up to uh, the Potholers uh, end of June. Although I'm thinking about that for July 4th weekend. Because July 4th is actually a Thursday this year. And with fingers crossed, maybe they'll give us the Friday off. And the thing is that it's after primary day, so it should be quieter at work, although they'll still want me to be cutting data for them, but it won't be hopefully any rush jobs. Okay, well, I'm getting eaten alive, so I'm going to shut this off, and then uh, I will, uh, I guess, uh, hop in the, uh, the hammock I want to read for a bit, and then I'll finish taking camp down. Get us all back to the camp, the truck, get this campsite restored as close to the natural condition as possible. Make sure that fire pit is well drowned, and then uh, head down to Bennington and slash Hammond Hill, do some hiking, biking, and then head home. <laughs>